psychological wounds. Oh, Sri so, Lankan government is not uh, uh, willing to uh, fill the vacancies. In Singhalese area, um, there are a lot of uh, teachers. Uh, they say this excess uh, to the card. But in our area, it is uh, very difficult. Uh, even we have uh, so many graduates, so many educated uh, people are around here, but uh, they are not recruited as uh, teachers. Sri Lankan government is responsible for the production of textbooks used in schools. Northeast Secretariat on Human Rights has issued a human rights report on the discrimination within the government's textbook production process to sabotage the quality of the Tamil textbooks to ensure that their quality remains inferior to that of the Singhala textbooks. The distribution of textbooks is uh, very uh, difficult and we are uh, almost uh, a year, uh, the year is uh, ending now, now the year is ending, uh, nine months. Uh, we are not uh, supplied with uh, textbooks by the government. Um, so our uh, students are very, um, very unlucky. Uh, I have two children. I have 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 a Pudia, Feria, Avala, Patacondi, Grand Chilla, Raima, Pula, Woodia, Tuparavai, Custa Nilamiala, Falikor, the Kabudamel, Vachirikuga. A Pudiana were Ikatan and Nilamela, Nangal Bandu and Dirikara. Article thirty eight talks of the state's responsibility to protect children during armed conflict. Many children have died due to indiscriminate bombing of the Sri Lankan state during the 20 years of civil war. That is the message that I would like to uh, place before the international community because there's a lot of uh, uh, things talked about our society, about our children. But what our children went through and uh, for example, I was at the hospital when uh, years ago in, in the Jaffna Peninsula, when the uh, children were bombed and a lot of children succumbed to that bombing at Nagarkoil, you know. So we, uh, our children have died, our children have witnessed traumatic events in their, they have uh, witnessed their parents being killed. <laughs> Even during the ceasefire period from February 2002 onwards, school students who protested against military camps near their school were shot dead. Inadequate protection measures to protect children from economic and sexual exploitation also leave children vulnerable. 
This environment of persistent violation of child rights has tragically forced many children to take refuge in the LTTE. Understanding the totality of child rights is therefore not complete without understanding the use of those under the age of 18 in armed forces. CRC adopted in 1989 permits states to recruit those over the age of 15 into its armed forces. The optional protocol to CRC introduced in 2000 retains the 15 year minimum age for state armed forces but prohibits armed groups as opposed to state's armed forces from recruiting children under the age of 18 even for non-combatant duties the war induced political and economic context in the northeast denied many of the basic rights to the children and has pushed them into the ltt's fold to seek protection The new international context created by the optional protocol of 2000 on the other hand necessitates that these children are not accepted within the LTTE fold. there is something serious here something important but i invite them to look at the picture as a whole not only to focus on certain um, which could be called violation of human rights but to look at our children as a whole what uh, to see how much our children have suffered the task of returning the children who seek refuge with the ltte to an environment that adequately protects their basic child rights remains a sticky issue that demands long-term resource intensive commitment to these children from the world community of caring people